Hey everybody, Doug Silton here. Um, I was taking my own advice today and I wanted to sort of share with you all what that is. So uh, my assistant Sam and I uh, finally finished setting up my vlog station. I'm accompanied here today by, well, Easter swing was just canceled. So I have my sophisticated first place trophy from whatever year that is. And this is my main state lobster trophy from the main state swing dance championships in 99, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, we were setting up the vlog station and dialing it in because for the next few weeks or months, um, all of my gigs have been canceled pretty much. So what am I doing to stay positive and stay present during these times? Well, as an artist, the, the number one way to survive as an artist in this world is to have passive income. So do you have instructional videos? Do you have instructional content? Do you know how to prepare that instructional content and be able to provide that to people who are not in the same world as you or realm as you and teach them how to dance or teach them how to do whatever you're teaching in your life for your livelihood. Um, so content creation can take a long time. Maybe you don't know what you want to put in your syllabus, uh, how you want to format it. Um, and these are things that take time and now you're going to have the time to do that. So you can dedicate time, work time to figuring that shit out. Right. And that's going to be pretty important um, to survive financially in the arts world when we have the, the COVID-19, you know, pretty much making everyone depressed and not wanting to go out. Um, as you're working on your syllabus and figuring out what you want to teach and what platform you're going to put it out to and how you're going to do that. To me, one of the huge things that that really makes a good teacher a good teacher is you're not just teaching something because you've been taught it. Maybe for the past 20 years, you've been teaching uh, a certain one because it was taught to you by someone who did it for 20 years. It doesn't mean that's what you're doing. And it doesn't mean that's what maybe the way you want to see the dance progress. So make sure that you're checking your own philosophies, your own theories, and you're saying, this is what I would like the dance to look like. This is what I personally do. And I'm going to share that with you as my basic instead of what was regurgitated for forever. Um, the other things that you can easily dedicate time on are, uh, is your website up to date and current? Do you need to add things to it? I know you're taking off gigs that are on your websites. Um, if you don't know how to do that and you want to delegate it to someone, um, you just go to fiverr.com. If you don't have the money to spend, since we're all, you know, worried about tightening our belts for the next, you know, few months. Um, and uh, uh, Fiverr and everything else I talk about, the links are in the description below. So you can figure out how to, to do all this stuff if you're a little lost right now and you just want to listen and chill out. Um, the other thing is stay on top of the news. It's not that you to do this to panic, but you should know what's going on. You should know if you should be going out or not going out or, you know, best ways to remain sanitary and hopefully virus free or uh, when we all get it, it's how to handle that and what to do with it. Um, so make sure that even though it's depressing as fuck, you want to make sure that you are following along and make sure you have credible news sources. So uh, if your news sources are not credible uh, and how do you know if they're not credible? Um, I'm not going to go political right now, but just uh, go to a variety of different news sources. And if 90% of them say the same thing, that means it's, it's probably accurate. Uh, so let me check my list here, see what else we have to chat about today. Again, I wasn't planning on, on talking to y'all, but since we are gathering nuts as squirrels for the winter as well and prepping our, our setups and instructional content, I figured I'd share this with everyone too. Plus, it's a good microphone test. Um, other things you can... Oh, yeah. So something that every dancer never has enough time for is stretching. I don't know anyone that goes, yeah, I stretch enough. So stretch more. Take care of yourself. Solo dance train. Um, pretend you're giving yourself a private lesson and set a timer for 50 minutes and actually stretch for 50 minutes, dance for 50 minutes. Um, do that for yourself, make yourself your client, if you will. And then, um, at the same time, we don't want to just work on our bodies. We want to work on our spiritual and our emotional journey through this lifetime. So, um, you can find some amazing podcasts you can listen to or read some amazing books. The ones that I would recommend if you haven't already started them or read them are The Four Agreements, The Mastery of Love, and The Outliers. And links, again, are in the description below, so you can pick those up and, and listen to those or read those. So uh, from here in Portland, Oregon, out in the country where who knows what's happening, but I know today's a beautiful day outside, and I'm uh, 
hopefully this mic test works well. Um, but yeah, um, be safe, everyone. Wash your hands a lot. Don't touch your face because that's all we know how to do, I guess. And uh, do it better. So see you guys soon. Probably not on the dance floor.